welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see, I'm currently in my garden. If you know, you know that when I come out here, the messages tend to flow and anything that I've already received or downloaded seems to gain a lot more clarity. The message is a very specific one. It's not general. You couldn't force this even if you wanted to. The divine was highlighting someone or someones, more than one person, who lately it has felt like a serious uphill battle. It feels like you were moving in your purpose, moving along with this relationship. Everything seemed like it was fine. It, and I say purpose and path and relationship because it felt like it was a sure thing. It was something that felt like so sure, like obvious that this is something that you have signed up for, for the rest of your life, that you just automatically assume that it is just going to be and stay that way. And then the universe throws you for a loop or life throws you for a loop. Everything gets topsy-turvy. And from that moment, you're feeling really cloudy and you're feeling confused and you're feeling lost and you feel disconnected and you're not entirely sure, okay, what do I do now? As I was sitting with the divine and please guys, I'm so sorry for the background noise. My neighborhood, they take a lot of pride in their yards, which I appreciate, but at the same, same time during the day, sometimes it gets a little loud. There was this immediate feeling of confirmation that A, you're on the right path, but B, don't look for things to not be chaotic right now. And also I got this strong sense of, despite the stress, the fact that you have tried to commit <clears throat> to making this work and to shuffle forward, despite all things kind of telling you otherwise, despite the fact that the future feels uncertain, despite the fact that it just feels like nothing seems to be working out, the divine is saying those baby steps that is that you're taking even in this stressful situation is what it's supposed to look like. It's This is confirmation that you are on the right track and to continue to carry forward and only take small steps. I wanna emphasize taking small steps because for some of you guys, you're actually feeling like I need to completely change everything. I need a total shift. It just feels like your trajectory just shifted in a great way. The divine is saying, let me call the shots on that. You just follow my lead. If you felt like the situation before you feels like it is impossible to continue forward in the same way that you have and that you want to, you wish you could, but it feels like nothing is, is supporting you in that. The divine says, focus on those baby steps and don't look, don't look around and see what's going on around you because sometimes what goes on around us is not divine intervention. It's not divine chaos. Sometimes it's just chaos. And there is no promise, this is a very specific message, there is no promise that everything will ultimately always make sense in the way that things work themselves out, but that is not diminishing the presence of the divine even in the midst of all of that. And if you keep your eyes on your heart space, if your heart is broken right now, don't focus on the fact that it's broken. Focus on the desires of your heart that take out any type of external opinions and perspectives, right? So let's say you're involved with someone right now and they're having a change of heart, you're married, things are collapsing, things are falling apart. Know that the chaos that it is that they're experiencing may not necessarily be for their highest and greatest good. It's a result of other toxic energies that are infiltrating that the divine needs to sort out right now. So it was such a specific message that even if things are topsy-turvy, there are times when it is direct in alignment with what the divine has ordered or what the universe is bringing. And other times it's chaos, it's actual chaos, it's negative, it's evil, it's malicious, it's the shadow self that is toxic and has overtaken someone, something, the energies, and that's what you're in the midst of. When you tell yourself, okay, this is going to work itself out, you can sense that you might be, that you're lying to yourself or that it doesn't feel like it will. This is why you're sensing doubt. And this is why the divine says, this is not a product of you. This is not a product of me. When things turn topsy-turvy, it's not that I couldn't control it. It's just that everybody and everything has free will. And at the end of the day, people need to have the space to choose what they're going to do. This may be one person that you're dealing with or a whole conglomerate of different energies that is that you're dealing with. And just know that they're all under the same influence and a lot of people feel it at the same time. If you're in that right now, keep your eyes focused on the divine and don't look at 
what is happening and try to make it turn into a positive thing. Sometimes it's not positive. Sometimes it's something that is coming from a very tumultuous, sticky, not constructive place and it's not of the divine. If it was of the divine, there would not be so much confusion in it. it you would know that things were topsy-turvy but there was still some type of direction and purpose and the fact that you don't feel this and the fact that others don't feel this is a reflection that this is not coming from a place that is right. It's not righteous, it's not good. There is this immediate confirmation for someone of the baby steps that is their, that they're taking every day right now that are shuffling them forward into the future and that their heart is unwavering. If your heart has been unwavering towards a goal, towards your path, towards a marriage, towards a relationship, even though, even though the situation feels helpless, even though you feel hopeless, even though you don't know what's going to happen next, I'm not saying that it's okay. I don't get a feeling in my spirit that it's okay. If anything, the divine doesn't, isn't supporting this, isn't encouraging it. It's just saying, stay focused on me and the small steps that you're taking will bring you through this. And as long as your eyes are focused on on the higher, then we will get through this. You, I will lead you through this. Your higher self, your intuition will lead you through this during a very chaotic and tumultuous time in history for the world, but also in history in your life. I also had this really interesting message about practicing gratitude. That's just in your innate nature. You wake up and the first thing that you do is you express gratitude. I That's my path. That's something that I do and it works. The divine is saying that if you have moved away from that, go back to it. And if you're not practicing it in the same intensity that you have in the past, lean back into that. I wanna see a chicken real quick. This chicken doesn't have a name yet. She will be up for sale or up for adoption. She actually is right now. She has food all over her face because she was eating snackies. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Um, you expressing gratitude is going to shift the energy and an energy shift is so needed. We can't control what the rest of the world is doing. We cannot control what other people are doing. At the end of the day, we can only control what we do. Sometimes your ability to be detached from the situation and to still choose gratitude and love and peace and doing what you can only do in the present right now to, to nourish you and support you, is it does make a difference. And I know that that feels, as I say that, I feel my heart kind of drop. I don't know if it's because someone doesn't believe that in their spirit right now, or if it's because it, they, they do believe it and it brings up a lot of emotion. And it's not good emotion, it's not bad emotion, it's just emotion. I feel that, I felt that. You do make a difference when you're able to express gratitude, even in this moment for the very small things. I also see the benefit of lemons and mint. Um, you guys know that I work with herbs all the time for magic, for health, for healing, for shifting energy. And I just get a, um, a vision of like someone muddling mint or lemon and how refreshing and uplifting that is for your senses and what it gives back to you as this herb is giving of itself. I don't know if you're someone's gonna be growing this or working with this, but I just truly see it. I know that sometimes people burn sage or they burn frankincense and myrrh in order to lift the energy. I Right now I'm seeing mint muddled or mint dried and being burned or that you're ingesting it in a, in a way that it's like a tea or something and it feels like it uplifts your energy. There's a blessing there that this, is, this little concoction, it's a very simple concoction, but that it will bring to you in the time and when you're drinking and you're hydrating or when you're taking in the lemon and the mint it will literally uplift your energy look into the properties of mint and you'll see how supportive it is of our energies and why i believe that the divine is calling this into you now same thing with lemon it provides friendship it uplifts it's a combination of the sun and the moon together and it supports you it will support you and the divine gave us medicine here on earth we just have to know when to use it, when to apply it, and the divine will give instruction on when that comes, when that time comes, and I feel like that time is here now. In the meantime, guys, please focus on what it is that you can do. Don't get so stuck on what other people are doing right now because there's a lot of people who don't know what they're doing. 
they feel, a lot of people feel like their backs are against the wall. A lot of people are topsy-turvy, upside down, disconnected, feeling lost, spiritually attacked. There's a lot of weird energies that are out there. I'm not saying this to give it any more space and energy, but to call it out for what it is. So at least minimally, you know, I feel it myself in my own life. That's why it's so important for me to come into spaces like this and continue to garden and take care of my chickens and take care of myself and take care of my family and my friends and those who are around me and my clients because you guys are also a, a, a part of my family. The divine says, give gratitude, express gratitude as often as you can lean into it heavy. That's gonna be real tough, but I promise you in like three days time, there's something about the energy of three to seven, it's you're gonna see a, a turnaround. Not Maybe not necessarily a dramatic and miraculous turnaround, although, I'm not taking that completely off the table, but just in how the peace that is that you feel within your heart, and you'll know that that is to a gift from the divine. I just wanna say this too, that the circumstances around you are not a reflection of you, or at least in this situation, it's not a reflection of you. You're, if you're doing the best that you can, and despite it being chaotic and turned around and tumultuous and weird, and abrasive and angry and bitter. There's a lot of external noise. There's a lot of discontent right now. What if this was not a reflection of you? What if it's a reflection of something that is taking over? And if you internalize it, or if you feel like all is lost, then you will get lost in that. However, if you stay focused on your gratitude and what you can control and what is happening within you and your relationship with the divine, and the things that you can do for yourself now, you will rise above it and outside of it. Let them have the chaos. If that means that they attack you or that they point fingers at you or if they are sabotaging you or if they're either they wanna put blame on you or, or call you out for all of your faults and failures that they believe, whether they're real or not, none of us here are perfect. We're all human and we're all figuring it out. The wisest person knows that they know nothing and that they're still learning. And that if that's true, then it's true for you. Don't allow the outside right now to get into the inside and expressing gratitude and staying in your bubble. Everything will sort its, itself out. At the end of the day, good energy always prevails. Love always prevails there's always a light when you are that light. So just stay focused, stay encouraged, stay hopeful, stay lifted, stay positive, and let everything else fall where it's going to fall. But at the end of the day, you are going to fall into the divine's hands and it will all, it will all be worth it. It will all be worth it. There are blessings ahead of you too. I get this really strong sense that there's blessings ahead of you too, but you won't be able to get there if you allow the noise to trick you into thinking that everything is hopeless when you should actually be hopeful. All right, my loves, I'm sending you all of my love. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, give this video a thumbs up. If it's been supportive to you, it's supportive for me and it feels good for me to come out here. I'm sending you guys all of my love. For those of you guys that have been with me since day one, the amount of appreciation and gratitude that I have for you is so tremendous. I also feel like our relationships are shifting in a way that it's just going to bring us all closer together. I don't know how to describe that when it's the internet. And again, my day ones, you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about. You know exactly what it is that fit that feels like for those of you guys that are brand new. I think that you'll understand it and you'll get it soon. I do believe that I just ask that you stay close, that we stay close together through thick and through thin. We'll figure it out. And that's just how relationships, healthy relationships work. Whatever that relationship looks like, whether it's your relationship with the planet, whether it's your relationship with your family, your mother, your friends, your partner, your dog, <laughs> the people you work with. <laughs> At the end of the day, you guys have a common goal and just keep that, keep that in perspective. Even your relationship with the divine. Like I know many of you guys can relate to the days where you just feel so connected and close with God or the divine or to the universe or to your higher self. And then there's days where you're just like, where are you? Like, why aren't you texting me back? <laughs> why aren't you texting me? <laughs> That's my chicken laughing. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.